Can you explain how the rule of 12 can give me a huge advantage on chipping? This is Golf Smarter. If you putt chipped with a sand wedge and normal greens, the flight to roll ratio, one part flight in equal part roll. If you use your pitching wedge, whatever distance the ball flew in the air with the same technique, because the ball flew lower, it would roll at a two to one ratio. One part flight, two parts roll. Okay. A nine iron was one to three. An eight iron was one to four. Okay. A seven, one to five. A six, one to six. A five, one to seven. A four, one to eight. And there's not many three irons anymore, but that was one to nine. Um, and if you take the club number and the roll increment number, okay. a seven iron rolls five times as far as it flies. Okay. Seven plus five is 12. Okay. An eight iron rolls four times as far as it flies. So the rule of 12, 12 with was a putting stroke. With a putting with stroke, right? We're not we're not setting wrists. We're not yeah changing angles or angle approach. So it it's a low spin method, which you want the ball to roll smoothly across the green. You're not trying to spin it. You're trying to get it to hit the green and then roll. And and the reason you use the different golf clubs is because one of Runyon's big keys was fly the ball to the nearest level dry spot on the putting surface. And if that was four feet away from you, that's where you're going to hit your shot. Uh -huh. And if the ball was 24 feet away, you're going to have a one to six ratio, so you would hit that with a six iron. Click on the link below to subscribe to our free weekly interviews on the Golf Smarter podcast at golfsmarter.com.